not going to hold you long today from the book of Ezekiel, the New Testament passage. The Old Testament passage of Scripture. Ezekiel was right along with Jeremiah and Isaiah. And so we ask for your prayer. Blessing to be back in the house of God once again. Amen. Anybody happy to be here? Just give God a praise. Amen. Amen. Ezekiel chapter 1. the appearance of the gold that is in the cloud in the day of rain, so was the appearance of the brightness round about. This was the appearance of the likeness of the glory of the Lord. I'll read that again. This was the appearance of the likeness of the glory of the Lord and when I saw Reaction. I fell upon my face and I heard a voice of one that spoke. Thank you so much. You may be seated. When I saw it, I fell upon my face. Well, you see heard a voice of one that spake. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Us, thank you so much. You may be seated. We want to talk about attention here. the appearance of the gold that is in the cloud in the day of the rain. These were the colors that Ezekiel saw. So was the appearance of the brightness round about. This was the appearance of the likeness of the glory of the Lord. And when I saw it, I fell upon my face, yeah. and I heard a voice of one that spake. Thank you. Ezekiel is the right one. <clears throat> Thank you for your prayer. announce God's judgment on Israel and other nations and to foretell the event of salvation for God's people regardless of what you're in God will make a way for you He wrote it to the Jews that was in captivity. Yes. Well. And Babylon and God's people everywhere. We hear him saying, what I say unto one, 
I see unto all. And so he that only spoke to the Jews at that time, he's speaking to us right now. Amen. The key verse, Brother Dave, is around the 36th chapter of this book, verse 24 through 26. Listen to what he says. For I will take you from among the heathen, gather you out of all countries. Yes. Mm -hmm. I will bring you into my own land. Hmm. Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you, for ye shall be clean. From all your filthiness and from all your idols mm -hmm. will I cleanse you. Yeah. This is the part I love. A new heart. All right. <laughs> also will I give you well. and a new spirit no. will I put within you. <laughs> and I will take away the stony heart. Out of your flesh. And I will give you a heart of flesh. Amen. Can we all say amen? Amen. And so, <coughs> attention getters. So Ezekiel had a vision that God, absolute moral perfection. God was spiritually and morally superior to Israel corrupt and compromising society. In other words, we have to stand on what's right. Amen. Amen. Can't compromise. Can't compromise. Can't compromise. That's right. And, and, and then God have a way oh, yes. of getting our attention. Yes. 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 When we go astray. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Anybody ever been there? Yeah. So I want to say to those of us that are here today, your future is not ahead of you. All right. Hmm. It's things on the inside. All right. Yeah. All right. Listen, God hides everything that was supposed to become in itself. In other words, a forest is not ahead of the seed. Uh -huh. It's in the seed. Yes, that's right. That's good. You like that? Amen. <laughs> Your future is in you. That's right. Thank you, Lord. It's been there all the while. Come on. All right. All right. But there is too much noise. You see, God has always been trying to get our attention. But there is too much noise going on. All right. Soon as we get home, yes, sir. Say it. We take the remote. Turn on the television. Too much noise. So do we get in the car? Yes. We turn on music. <laughs> God has always been trying to get your attention. As you go home, you're listening to the TV. As you get in the car, you listen to the music. Amen. Everything. Afterwards, friends, you're talking with them. Child, where you been? How you doing? God is saying, man. There was a lot of noise in your life. Yeah. Right. For the last 50 years, what? I've been trying to get in touch with you. Yeah. What you say? So what I want you to do, yeah. Yeah. as he told Abraham, I want you to go to the mountain. Oh. Yes. Sometimes you just got to get away from the hustle. Amen. 
Sometimes you got to get away from friendship. Amen. He said, I can't even get your attention. Because too much is going on in your life. How did God get Abraham's attention? He said, I want you to leave. Your father and your mother. Yes, sir. All right. We're set up. And I need to talk with you in the mountain. We can never discover what we are born to do. Yeah. Right. If we never make time to hear what God has to say. What is it that he called me to do? Well, he speaks. Yes, he does. Your future is within you. A forest is not ahead of the seed. It's in the seed. You have everything you need to make it in life. Amen. So true. So true. Yes, sir. Bear with me for a little while. Take the time. Attention. What are we born to do? So we never make time. Mm. And so some ways God get our attention, he allow mm -hmm. some sickness. Right. Yes. Or some other problem. So he told Abraham, listen, go to a land that I'll show you. How did God get, how did he get Moses' attention? Come on, please, fix it. A burning bush. He knows. Yes. How to get your attention. Amen. Yes, he do. And there are times he have to get us like Jacob. Well, all right. <laughs> get you all by yourself. Well, Amen. You know the story of Jacob, how he sent Leah, oh, that's right. her children on the head. Then he sent the woman that he loved so much after all of that. He said, if he kill her, at least you can get away. Wow. <laughs> and then Jacob was left her all by himself. Yeah. That's, right. That's, right. That's when God does his attention. Wow. Sometimes God has to send people out of your life. All right. All right. Say it. Mm -hmm. In order to get your attention. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Over the centuries, God has used various of means. Abraham, he heard a voice. you to know that he's speaking not only to Abraham, but he's speaking to every one of us. Amen. Because he's given each of us a purpose. We're not, yes, just, we're not just here to just to be. That's right. That's right. That's right. And regardless of how you got here, whether mom and dad are married or not, you still have a purpose. Does not matter how you got here. It was God that sanctioned that. Amen. And that gift that he put in you, he wants you to use it to help humanity. Amen. Abraham, uh -huh. leave your house. Yes, sir. Sometimes you got to leave comfort. That's right. In order to hear 
what he has to say. Amen. Moses saw a burning bush. Listen to what he said. I'm going to turn aside. Yes, yes sir. And I'm going to see about this. Yes. And as soon as he got close to God, he told him, Moses, yes, yes. Take off your shoes. Yes. All right. Shoes. You leave footprints wherever you go. And so the light that has been behind you, you got footprints. Yeah. The thing that you have done, some things you got to take off. All right. That's right. The ground that you're standing on yeah. is holy ground. You see, when God gets ready to use you, he knows how to get your attention. Yes. Oh, yes. And so I hear my pastor, F.E. Wilder, he said he can take a crooked stick yeah. and hit a straight lick. Yeah. Take off your shoes. Some things you got to get rid of. Yes. Some people that we deal with, amen, you need to push to the side. They're holding you back. Too much weight. Yeah. The ground that you're standing on yeah. is holy ground. Come on. Yes, sir. We got to understand that when God enters, yes. the first thing we must do is bow All to right. his will. What is it? Right. What is it that you want me to do? Go back. Mm. Listen to what he said. Go back. Mm. And a lot of times, your mission is where God saved you from. Yeah. Right. Everybody can't preach. That's right. That's right. That's right. But if God took you from drugs, right. he wants you to go back and let others know, I love Go back and tell them oh. what good things. Uh, yeah. Anybody here know he's done great things? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna talk. Yeah. Wherever he has saved you from, amen. That could be your mission, that could be your purpose. If he delivered you from certain things when you had friends out there, he told Moses, go back into Egypt, but I want you to tell Pharaoh. To let my people go. He knows how to get our attention. A burning bush with Moses, Abraham. Abraham heard a boy. Joshua met a soldier. Yes, yes, he did. Ah, my, my, my. Preach, Pastor, preach. Joshua was of the army. He led the army of Israel, and that's what God brought to him a flame. Soldier, amen, standing with a sword drawn. Yeah, yeah. And Joshua was not afraid because he went up to him and said, What side you on? Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. What side you on? What side you on? Yeah. Yes. In other words, we need to make up our mind what side we're going to yeah. go. Listen to what he said. Doc, he said, As for me and my house. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I don't know. Whether you serve the gods of the Amorite, the Pegasite, the Hivites, amen, the Jebusite. Listen to what he said. If they need something for you, I can understand you worshiping and serving them. But if God be God, if he woke you up this morning, if he started you on the night and made you general, if God did the food at the table, clothes on your back, if he healed your body, you ought to make up in your mind what side. He said that for me. Yes, yes he did. Yeah. 
Listen to how he said, I'm not, I can't speak for you. All right. All right. But as for me, in my house, do I have anybody here going to sell out? Do I have anybody here? God knows how to get your attention. Not only Abraham, not only Moses, not only Joshua, but Gideon, he met an angel. We preach on Wednesday night concerning angels. He said, be careful how you entertain angels. Uh, how do you entertain strangers because you might be entertaining an angel on a web. God send people by your house that you know not of. Many times they speak to you concerning what God said. You don't know whether you're talking to an angel or not. They say I'm talking about somebody else, but it sounds like they're talking about you. Right. Can I get a witness here? Yeah. Last of all, Saul and Natasha. Yes, sir. He got Saul's attention. Yes, yes. Yes. <clears throat> you might want to read Acts chapter 9. All right. Now Saul had went down to the authorities and got certificates of arrest. Give me authority. Anybody that I catch running around here talking about Jesus, whether it's male or female, I can arrest him. And the Bible said that he was rough. He would go in and he'd throw women. Boom! Handcuff him and bring him back. But you got to be careful how you treat a child of God. Sometimes when you don't put your mouth on it, you don't know why things don't go well for you. So Saul got his army, started going down to Damascus Road. You know the story, don't you? Yes. And the Bible said about midday. Yes. The hottest part of the day. Yes. As he started riding down to Damascus, some hit him. Yes, it did. Knocked him blind. Yes. Knocked him off his beach. Yes. 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 Saul so looked up. He said, Well, who art thou? Yes. Come on. He said, I'm Jesus. Yes. Whom you persecute. Yes. People got to understand that you're not fighting the preacher. That's right. Yes, sir. If he's preaching the word of God, All you need right. to keep your mouth off of him. Not my no 
on it. What you want me to do? Listen to what he told him. I'm Jesus, whom you persecute. You think you're going against the church. You're not going against the church. You're going against God. You're not fighting the preacher. You're not fighting the deacon. You're not fighting the musician. You're fighting God. Your hands are too short to box with God. God knows how to get your attention. Sometimes God got to knock you down. I make enough money, but I don't know what's happening with it. God knows how. He said, what you want me to do? I'm not going to change your direction. Keep going. Go down to a street. Yes, sir. That is called straight. That's right. There, I yes. want you to inquire of a man. My, my, my. And he'll tell you yes. what you got to do. That's right. Anybody here know he know how to get your attention? Yes. After God, after God get through messing with you, you'll know for a fact that he God all by himself. Yes. Our attention getters yes. may vary. I don't know if I'm going to hoop, but I'm going to show them. Oh, Praise the word. All right. While attention getters may vary, the purpose is always the same. Yes. What is it that he do? He interrupts our world. Yeah. To get our attention. Well, thank you, Lord. In order to call us to Him. Yes. What have you done Jesus. for me lately? My, 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 my. Right. What is it? Yeah. What is it that you've done for me? Yes, sir. Yeah.
Mama said, keep doing it. You don't know how things go sometimes. Let me put it like this. On a Monday, Jack will walk in with a sleep. The next morning. I had to get up off the floor. Amen. Jesus. You don't know how to lie. And I can look in here and see throughout this congregation how things have happened to families. Not too long ago, just to mention his name, Dutton was walking outside and then somebody said, you need to come get it. Am I right about that? Yeah. Didn't know where he was, who he was. Amen. Didn't know a thing. Same thing that happened to either of us. God interrupts. Right. Right. He intercedes. He comes into your life. When you think things are going so well, God interrupts and says, listen, you don't forgot where your help comes from. Yeah. Right. Listen to what he told Israel. He said, listen, listen. When you get there, when you get to the land that flows with milk and honey, when you get to the houses that you didn't build, when you get water out of wells that you didn't dig, when you get, amen, from out of, when you get all of these things, amen, don't forget about me. So often when we get things, Say it, Pastor. Uh -huh. Say it. Thank we too busy to even come to the church. Right. So there are times God interferes. So once Ezekiel saw the vision, what did he do, Pastor? He fell to the ground. Yes. And listen to the words of God. Yes, sir. So I want to ask a question. What sort of things God have used to get your attention? Maybe it was a co-worker. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people that you think don't know God. Right. You can't judge people. The co-worker enters and talks to you about your life. Allow things to become somewhat difficult. Yeah. All right. Well, Pastor, at home. Mm. Y'all all right? Mm -hmm. All right. Right ahead, right Pastor. What, what's happening? What's uh -huh. happening? What's happening? Mm -hmm. Just all of a sudden things start happening. Mm -hmm. Children being disobedient. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Husband and wife. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. This is mine. <laughs> mine. Right. Any home. If husband is saying mine, wife is saying mine, you got a split house. Y'all yeah. right. mm -hmm. get mine quiet. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? <coughs> What's happening? What's happening? And many of us don't see it, but when it comes to this weather, he's speaking. These are treasures in his bag. He uses weather. It's not even cold up in New York. Right. Like it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. 
It's not snowing like it's supposed to. Polar bears don't have ice. They seeing grizzlies where they're supposed to be. Listen to Color Purple. Maybe God. Trying to tell you something. Can't sleep at night. And you wonder why. Let me give you this nugget. Anytime you wake up from 3 to 6 in the morning, 3 a.m. to 6 in the morning, that's the spiritual rim. That's what God wants to talk to. I'll take that time to say it again. From 3 to 6, spirit rim. If he waking you up before morning, he wants you to come and talk to him. He got something. He wants you. Every time you get that, don't you do all the talking. Amen. <laughs> the song said, hush. I hope you're receiving something today. This is what God told me to tell you. Listen, listen. Maybe he had brought some confusion in the home. should always be the same. Listen to what Ezekiel said. Verse 28. This was the appearance of the likeness of the glory of the Lord and when I saw it I fell upon my face. This is not worship. This is not free. This is worship. Yeah. When we worship, we bow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God wants our will mm -hmm. to move out of the way. Oh, yeah. What is it? Yes. Mm. It was you that woke me. Thank you. Thank you. I got to bow to your will. Listen to the prayer, not my will, but thine be done. This is what we must do. We got to get rid of what we think, what we want out of life, and ask him, Lord, lead. moments and I'm going to turn them loose. <laughs> what means have you used? Our response should always be the same. Mm -hmm. Bow before him. Bow before so what must I do, Pastor? Yes. If I'm not committed, I have to recommit myself. Now I hear what you want me to do. Whom shall we see? All right. And who will go for us? Yeah. Can you say today, Lord? Here am I. And I want to say this to our leaders. Leadership. 
brings hatred sometimes. Yes, it does. Everybody won't like you. That's right. That's my next sermon. I got it back there. So I'm going to stay out of that one. Amen. I want you to understand when you are leading everybody won't like you. But what you need to do is keep that person close to you. God didn't get rid of Judah. He knew he was stealing money. He knew for a fact that he had stole money. And he had sold him. That's right. But he still kept him close. <laughs> Stop getting rid of people. Yes, sir. All right. <laughs> you don't know what they're doing out there, but when you got it close to you, you know what's going on. Can I get a witness here? And so Ezekiel had. One of the most amazing and yet puzzling visions of God. Okay, okay. He saw a whirlwind coming towards him. And out of it, four multiple heads. Being with faces like men. Wow. Oxen. Mm -hmm. Eagles. And lie. Yeah. <laughs> Next to these creatures, he saw wheels within wheels giving them motions in all directions. Simultaneously, and as they move, it sounds like movement of many armies that a rushing wind while. He might have had many questions about what the experience must have been and what this imagined represents. Ezekiel does not, does not leave us wondering about how he reacted. Yeah. So I'll give you what those lions and oxen and eagles were. You're talking about nations. Yes. Yeah. You're talking about nations and then. You're also speaking about the vehicle that brought God upon earth. Ooh, that's good. That's right. <laughs> you see, I, you, you wonder how Carl and Bang came about. <laughs> this is the transportation that brought him here. Y'all all right? <laughs> so Pastor, not going to go any further. So his reaction was revived. God is amazing. Can I get a witness? Here? Amen. I fell down and I heard a voice. So I want to encourage you today, Pastor, and the turn you loose. Moses asked him. Show me your glory. Ezekiel got a glimpse of that. Listen to Uzziah. Yeah. Ooh. Isaiah said that in the year. Come on, preacher. Yes, it is. When I was writing this, I said, well, this is the preaching time right here. So. <laughs> I saw the Lord high and lifted up. Yes. Invitation. Have you seen him? Have he been speaking to you? How are things going in your life? Trying to get your attention. And our response should be, what is it that you want me to do? 
Many of us have stopped. Many of us are not doing this. This message comes to you today. Some things I don't want to say, but I have to say. <laughs> what is your response? He said, the day that you hear my voice. Yes. Harden not your heart. Amen. Last week, David said, One thing have I desired of the Lord. Yes. That what I seek after the Lord. Yes. We spend time with everything else. Yes. Preach it, preach it. What is your desire? Because one day, Shiva, one day, my friend, we got to meet him for ourselves. Yeah. So I give you an invitation. I still got some more to do. I've helped you long enough. Amen. Come back next week. I hope for you then. <laughs> Give God praise in the house. So listen, listen to him, listen to him. I fell to the face. That's what I've given up. I give up, Lord. I've been trying. I've been doing it myself. I want you to lead me. I want you to guide me. Amen. Take me Amen. Life. Shape me, mold me. Yes. Do I have anyone here today? that have heard his voice. Yes. And this is an attention getter. Yes.